اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم we are going to start from آیت نمبر 90 سورہ شورا we just spoke about قلب سلیم so Allah says وَأُزْلِفَتِ الْجَنَّةُ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ وَبُرْرِزَتِ الْجَحِيمُ لِلْغَاوِينَ and paradise will be brought near that day to the righteous and hellfire will be brought forth for the deviators so both these two communities are going to see their end قلب سلیم is going to guarantee paradise why because no man is perfect but there is always a hope of correction and then seeking repentance and it will be said to them where are those you used to worship other than Allah can they help you or help themselves so they will be overturned into it that is the hellfire they and the deviators and the soldiers of Iblis all together they will say while they dispute therein by Allah we were indeed manifest error when we equated you with the Lord of the worlds and no one misguided no one misguided us except the criminals فَمَا لَنَا مِن شَافِعِينَ So now we have no intercessors فَلَا صِدِّقٍ حَمِيمٍ and not a devoted friend Where did those friends go now today? Those friends are not even going to go in the qabar with us Any friend who is going to pull you away from evil becomes a taghut and no one is going to enter the qabar with us So then why do we want to remain in, in delusions? فَلَوْ أَنَّ لَنَا كَرَّةً فَنَكُونَ مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Then if we only had a return and could be of the believers meaning if we could only go back into the world once one more last chance we will become the believers إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَا وَمَا كَانَ أَكْسَرُهُمْ مُؤْمِنِينَ Indeed in that is a sign but most of them were not to be believers and indeed your Lord he is the exalted in might the merciful كَذَّبَتْ قَوْمُ النُّوحِنَ الْمُرْسَلِينَ The people of Nuh alayhi salam denied the messengers when their brother Nuh alayhi salam said to them will you fear Allah? Indeed I am to you a trustworthy messenger so fear Allah and obey me and I do not ask you for it any payment my payment is only from the Lord of the worlds they said should we believe you while you were followed by the lowest class of people he said and what is my knowledge of what they used to do their account is only upon my Lord if you could perceive and I am not one to drive away the believers I am only a clear warner they said if you do not desist or no you will surely be of those who are stoned he said my Lord indeed my people have denied me then judge between me and them with decisive judgment and save me and those with me of the believers so we saved him and those with him in the laden ship then we drowned thereafter the remaining ones indeed in that is a sign but most of them were not to be believers and indeed your Lord he is the exalted in might and merciful exalted in might the merciful now here you will see in Musa alayhi salam the water saved the believers in Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam topic we said we see that fire has saved Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salam and in Hazrat Nu alayhi salam story we see that again water becomes saving a saving element for the believers now we move on to the people of Aad Aad denied the messengers Qazzabat Aadan al-Mursaleen is qala lahum akhuhum hudun ala tattaqoon Aad denied the messengers when their brother Hud alayhi salam said to them will you not fear Allah indeed I am to you a trustworthy messenger فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ وَأَتِّئُونَ So fear Allah and obey me وَمَا أَسْأَلُكُمْ عَلَيْهِ مِنْ أَجْرٍ إِنْ أَجْرِ إِلَّا عَلَى رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ And I do not ask you for it any payment my payment is only from the Lord of the worlds عَلَى رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ do you construct on every elevation a sign assuming yourselves that means you want to show this as a sign of your might your power your wealth and take for yourselves constructions that you might abide eternally meaning you think that this is going to remain with you forever and when you strike you strike as tyrants so fear Allah and obey me and fear who provided you with that which you know provided you with grazing livestock and children and gardens and springs indeed I fear for you the punishment of a terrible day they said it is all the same to us whether you advise or are not of the advisors we are not going to listen to you this is not but the custom of the former peoples and we are not to be punished so they were very sure 
very arrogant in this assumption that Allah there is no God that is going to give us resurrection, no God is going to give us punishment and we are not going to be punished. Do not think that you are telling us only by listening to you we will be safe from punishment, we will not be punished in the first place. And they denied him, so we destroyed them. Indeed, in that is a sign, but most of them were not to be believers. And indeed, your Lord, wa inna rabbaka lahul azizur rahim, he is the exalted in might, the merciful. Kazabat Samud al mursaleen is qala lahum akhuhum salihun ala tattakun. Samud denied the messengers. When their brother Saleh alayhi salam said to them, Will you not fear Allah? Inni lakum rasulun ameen. Indeed, I am to you a trustworthy messenger. So fear Allah and obey me. And I do not ask you for it any payment. My payment is only from the Lord of the worlds. So you see, every messenger had the similar message. I do not need anything from you. I am coming with a trustworthy message for you. Fear Allah and obey me. Will you be left in what is here that is secure? That means you are not going to die within gardens and springs and fields of crops and palm trees with softened fruit and you carve out of the mountains homes with skill. So fear Allah and obey me. You have these blessings but as a result of these blessings you need to be humble before Allah. So you need to fear him and then just follow the injunctions and do not obey the order of the transgressors who cause corruption in the land and do not amend. They said you are only of those affected by magic you are but a man like ourselves so bring a sign if you should be of the truthful. He said this is a she camel for her is a time of drink and for you is a time of drink each on a known day and do not touch her with harm lest you be seized by the punishment of a terrible day but they hamstrung her and so became regretful. And the punishment sees them indeed in that is a sign but most of them were not to be believers and indeed your Lord is the exalted in might the merciful. Kazabat qawmu Lut and al Mursaleen, the people of Lut alayhi salam denied the messengers. Is qala lahum akuhum Lutun ala tattaqoon when their brother Lut alayhi salam said to them will you not fear Allah? Inni lakum rasulun ameen indeed I am to you a trustworthy messenger. Fattaqullaha wa atiun. so fear Allah and obey me. And I do not ask you of it any payment. My payment is only from the Lord of the worlds. Do you approach males among the worlds? Meaning they were homosexuals. And leave what your Lord has created for you as mates. But you are a people transgressing. They said if you do not desist O Luth, you will surely be of those evicted. He said indeed I am towards your deed of those who detest it. My Lord save me and my family from the consequences of what they do. So he was not a... He was only to take the believers and now move out but his wife would have been left behind with them. Why? Because she supported the homosexuals. So we saved him and his family all except an old woman among those who remained behind. Then we destroyed the others and we rained upon them a rain of stones and evil was the rain of those who were warned. Indeed in that is a sign but most of them were not to be believers. And indeed your Lord, he is the exalted in might, the merciful. Kazabat ashabul aikatil mursaleen, the companions of the thicket, that is the people of Madian, denied the messengers. Is qala lahum shu'ibun ala tattaqoon, when Shu'ib alayhi salam said to them, will you not fear Allah? Inni lakum rasulun ameen, indeed I am to you a trustworthy messenger. Fattaqullaha wa atiuni, so fear Allah and obey me. Wa ma as'alukum alayhi min ajrin, in ajri illa ala rabbil alameen. And I do not ask you for it any payment. My payment is only from the Lord of the worlds. Give full measure and do not be of those who cause loss. So what was their problem? Their problem was in the measuring. In their business, they were not dealing it correctly. And weigh with an even balance. And do not deprive people of their due. And do not commit abuse on earth spreading corruption. Because if you are not going to give people their correct right, then of course this is going to bring frustration from the people which is going to end up in corruption. And fear he who created you and the former creation. They said, you are only of those affected by magic. You are but a man like ourselves and indeed we think you are among the liars. So cause to fall upon us fragments of the sky if you should be of the truthful. Now you can see their arrogance of demanding the punishment. So you want to bring the punishment, just let it come down from the sky. Let us see for ourselves what you are threatening us of. He said, my Lord is most knowing of what you do. He knows the time of your punishment 
and they denied him. So the punishment of the day of the black cloud seized them. Indeed, it was the punishment of a terrible day. Indeed, in that is a sign, but most of them were not to be believers. And indeed, your Lord is the exalted in might, the merciful. Wa innahu latanzilu rabbil alameen. And indeed is the revelation of the Lord of the worlds. Now Allah refers to the Quran. Now you've heard about the past nations. Now Allah brings in the Quran. And what is the Quran for? It is for us. Up till when is the Quran going to be there? It is going to be there till Qiyamah. Is there any more messenger? No. So then this book becomes final for guidance. Now Allah says this has come to you as a revelation. Nazala bihir ruhul amin, the trustworthy spirit has brought it down. And who is the spirit here called to? This is Hazrat Jibreel alayhi salam. So then there is the creator, then there is wahi. Wahi has been taken by the angel. Ala kalbika li takuna minal munzirin, upon your heart that you may be of the warners. Now this is referring to the messenger, Prophet Muhammad alayhi salam. Bilisanian Arabian Mubin in a clear Arabic language. So now this is a little introduction given to the Quran and if we want to introduce any new uh, Muslims or people who want to revert to Islam, then this is the best introduction of the Quran. And indeed it is mentioned in the scriptures of former people. So the Quran was already mentioned in Torah, it was mentioned in, in uh, Injil. And has it not been assigned to them? that it is recognized by the scholars of the children of Israel and even if we had revealed it to one among the foreigners that is the non-Arabs and he had recited it to them perfectly they would not have been believers in it meaning if somebody as a non-Arab would have come and recited the Quran even then these disbelievers would not have believed thus have we inserted it into the hearts of the criminals what has Allah inserted disbelief and this disbelief is going to remain in their hearts Allah says they will not believe in it until they see the painful punishment and it will come to them suddenly while they perceive it not and they will say may we be reprived so for our punishment are they impatient Allah says are they trying to see this punishment immediately they are not going to change, but they are asking to, to fall into the punishment. Then have you considered if we gave them enjoyment for years? And then there came to them that which they were promised. They would not be availed by the enjoyment with which they were provided. وَمَا أَهْلَكْنَا مِنْ كَرِيَةٍ إِلَّا لَهَا مُنْزِرُونَ And we did not destroy any city except that it had warners. And once the time came, the warners were told to leave and then the people were destroyed. As a reminder, and never have we been unjust. وَمَا كُنَّا ظَالِمِينَ Allah has never been unjust. And the devils have not brought it down, that is the revelation. People used to say, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi this shaitan comes to him and then he recites to him and this is how Nabi Sallallahu is producing the Quran. It is not allowable for them, nor would they be able. Indeed, they from its hearing are removed. Because when the revelation of the Quran was beginning, all these jinns, that is these shayateen jinns, they were removed from the, from the heavens. Because initially they used to try to pick up the things that the angels were bringing down and then they used to go down to the soothsayers and the fortune tellers and they used to mix a lot of lies in this and this is how these uh, false uh, things used to spread among the people. But now when the revelation of the Quran was going to begin then these jinns were totally removed and now that is how they realized that there was something new coming towards earth that they were prevented from going up to hear the news. So, do not invoke with Allah another deity and be among the punished. And warn, O Muhammad Sallam, your closest kindred. And lower your wing to those who follow you of the believers. Be humble to those. And if they disobey you, then say, Indeed, I am disassociated from what you are doing. And rely upon the exalted in might, the merciful, who sees you when you arise and your movement among those who prostrate. Indeed, he is the hearing, the knowing. Hal unabbi ukum alama tanazzalul shayateen. Shall I inform you upon whom the devils descend? 
tanazzalu ala kulli afakin azim they descend upon every sinful liar so who do they come to they come to those who are adding to this adding to the lies and then spreading in the people for example the soothsayers and the fortune tellers yulqawna sam'a wa aktharuhum kazibun they pass on what is heard and most of them are liars wa shu'ara'u yattabi'uhum alghawun and the poets only the deviators follow them do you not see that in every valley they roam now these are the poets who who are towards this kind of activity that they mix in false things and then they go around and tell people because if you see that in the arabs the poetry was very much appreciated and people used to have uh, gatherings at night where they used to have these very famous and and different poets who used to come and recite to them do you not see that in every valley they roam and that they say what do they not do meaning wa annahum yaquluna ma la yafalun they do they don't do what they are actually saying in their poetry except those allah taala except those poets who believe and do righteous deeds and remember allah often and defend the muslims after they were wrong and those who were wronged are going to know to what kind of return they will be returned so zulm is basically darkness and all those who are going into falsehood or who are going towards lies are basically trying to enter the darkness and qiyamah for such people is nothing but darkness and for those who are into poetry but at the same time allah says who are doing righteous deeds and then they are remembering allah and of course they are helping islam they are helping muslims for them allah says they are not going to be among such with this we are going to end surah ashura now after finishing surah ashura like i told you in the beginning that we are going to keep two things in mind we see that hazrat musa alaihi salam was saved by water hazrat nuh alaihi salam was also saved by water hazrat ibrahim alaihi salam was saved by fire and if you see in the story of the people of uh, in surah kaha where these three people who who took the shelter in a cave and allah taala had guided ordered the sun that it should rise and set in such a way that the that the people should remain sleeping and they should not be disturbed now if you see water is the biggest source of life similarly fire is a source of life because a lot of things that we do to sustain our life is because of fire and again sun sunlight is also one of the major sources of life if you see that those who have been true believers in allah these three creations the sun the fire and the water have been ordered to go and support directly to the believers give direct support to the believers and at the same times if you see water can be very destructive we have all seen in the natural disasters similarly fire again a very massive destructive element and sunlight if you don't get sunlight we all know the consequences of that also and in this case we see that water and fire has been again a reason for those to get destroyed whether it was lightning whether it was the form of uh, of a rain of uh, stones so what what we need to realize here is that when we are in submission with allah subhanahu wa taala then the the natural the creations that are around us become a part of our submission in the sense that they stand by us in our in our mission and our support and our submission to allah then allah taala becomes the hand of that person he says then i become his hands i make him do things that please me then i become i become for him in such a way that he will walk to please me he will talk to please me i become his hands i become his his words i become his life in the sense that then everything comes in accordance to that submission apart from that allah taala brings in his own creations to stand by this person whether in hazrat ibrahim's case we see fire was ordered to to remain cool it didn't hurt hazrat ibrahim whereas nobody can even touch a fraction of a fire similarly the sea the water it's it's so majestic but at the same time it was told to part and in the case of hazrat nuh alaihi salam we see the same water started emerging there was no scope of making a ship in such a dry land but we see there was rain and then there was flood and then 
then the same water became destruction for one people, but the same water became a mercy for the other. What does this all prove? What is, what is the sign be behind these things? That if you are submitted, then Allah stands by you. Then he brings in all his things to support you also. But if you go against him, then all these forces come against you. And may Allah give us the tawfiq to understand the signs behind these little examples and stories and parables that Allah has mentioned in the Quran. With this, we are going to take a short break and inshallah when we return, we are going to start Surah An-Nabal. Oh, 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 oh.